All right, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the ICT market maker model. I was looking at this Euro USD today, and we had a just a classic market maker buy model right here. And it reminded me that I had not made a video on this topic yet, and I couldn't believe it. So that's what we're gonna get into today. There's a lot of videos, there's a lot of stuff out there on market maker models, as I'm sure you understand, you probably already seen a lot of it. But a lot of people in the ICT, SMC space, whatever you wanna call it, they love to overcomplicate as I'm sure a lot of you have found out. You know, that's not what we do over here. My job, my objective with this channel is to simplify. It's to make complex things very easy to understand. Okay, and the market maker bottle, it's very simple stuff. They're like, so I mean, this, this shouldn't be a very long video at all. It should be done with it fairly quickly because it's just a very simple concept and it shows up repeatedly. It shows up consistently. You see these signatures and yeah, it's very simple stuff. So I'm going to break it down in this video for you in the most simplest manner that I can. Okay, so we're going to talk about your USD. First things first, though, just to show that I got some receipts, right? I always got to do this. You know, it ain't me flexing, right? It's just showing that, you know, I'm not just looking at stuff in hindsight. Like a lot of these videos that I make, it really, it's like I take stuff that I post in my free Discord chat. Like this is stuff that I post in my free Discord chat beforehand, as well as my mentorship chat. And just to show you that I got receipts and I'm actually not just going in hindsight and looking at stuff and then just making some random video, like I do this. Like I post this every single day beforehand. Look at this, this Euro USD. This is what we're talking about. This is the classic market maker buy model right here that you're looking at. Okay. So I want you to remember this. We're going to come back to it later and we're going to, we're going to talk about it, but just like, I'm just showing the receipts first off jump, you know, so nobody can say, well, look at you, Hans, Mr. Hans site, right? It ain't that. So, you know, we do all this beforehand. So the thing with the market maker buy model here, I'm going to use this Euro USD market for, for the example today, but a market maker sale model is just going to be you know, the opposite. It's like literally the same thing just in reverse. So here's one very important thing that you need to identify first. Identify your higher time frame point of interest. That's key. Identify your higher time frame point of interest. Now, here's the thing. I, I like the daily, the four hour, even the weekly chart for higher time frame point of interest. But if you're like a scalper, for example, like say you scalp the one minute chart, for example, right? Or you might, you know, maybe you only trade on the five minute chart or something like a higher time frame point of interest for you that you can use for this particular, like your, your market maker models, you might use like a one hour level. Okay. That might be the case. So in this specific scenario on your USD today, I'm using the daily chart because, and I do recommend it, even though like, I know a lot of you are scalpers. And even if you're a scalper, you'll get a lot of use out of, you know, utilizing higher time frame levels, like daily and weekly levels. And the importance of that is because that's where big money operates. That's where smart money operates. They operate on the higher time frame. That's where they're focused, not on you know the the one hour chart. I'm not saying you can't utilize the one hour chart and be successful. As I was saying, you could use that as your point of interest, and I'm sure you can find a way to do it successfully. But without a doubt, guys, the higher like the highest probability levels are going to be on your higher time frame, like your four hour, your daily, your weekly those you know the big boy levels right that's what i'm talking about here so number one we did identify our higher time frame point of interest so go to the daily chart and i posted this yesterday in my free discord chat as well and i brought this level to your attention look right here we have this old high right here see this this is our higher time frame point of interest this is a level of support guys look at that that is a higher time frame level right there that it tested on the daily chart that is a significant level that's number one that's what we need to do first we need to identify that higher time frame point of interest because we don't just want to be going in and looking for just any old rally in price we need to know that there's actually a reason behind this should be moving higher and as I, as I was just telling you a moment ago big money smart money they operate on these higher time frame charts so we can get aligned with smart money, identify these higher time frame levels and trade with them. That's what we do. We identified that. So we're reacting off that daily level, but the four hour market structure here is bearish as you can see, and that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I want you, let's navigate back over to the Discord real quick. I wanna bring uh, what I said down here to your attention. Four hour market structure is bearish still, but I'd say we attack those four hour buy stops up above next. Again, put yourself in the shoes of a short. Where are they going to keep their stop? Above resistance, right? Because that's where shorts keep their stops. It's above resistance. That resistance is right there. 
okay but we have daily support down below setting up perfectly for a scalp run so i want you to think of it like this daily support higher time frame level versus this you know four hour price range right here we have this thing consistently trending lower right here it's consistently making new lows it's consistently putting in lower highs and what do you think shorts want to do in this scenario they want to trail their positions and then you have shorts that are getting short after it has this breakout lower where are they going to keep their stop guys use common sense here use common sense where where does basically everybody keep their stops at above resistance where's the next established main level of resistance right here right there look at that see that old high that's a level of resistance because that's an area where it failed to move higher in the past before moving lower which makes it resistance which makes it prime area for buy stops to be placed and keep in mind that this bounce that you're seeing right here on this chart that's off of that daily support that we just identified so Let's go back to that trading view chart because it's all going to it's all going to connect here in a moment. Because some of you may still be kind of lost. You're like, okay, but what do we do with this? It's going to connect. All right, be patient. So we're testing this level right here, our higher time frame support. And as I said, we understand that there's a big bucket of shorts that are trailing their positions because this thing's been selling off for a while now, just getting just completely demolished, 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 demolished. And they're looking for this trend to continue, and they're looking for the same exact signatures to occur. And we already identified that this is a level of resistance where that buy side liquidity is going to be resting because buy stops are above swing high levels. Look how we got our highest high in the middle right here, lower high on the left, lower high on the right. This was the absolute high of this of this price rally right here before moving lower. We can anticipate there's going to be a big bucket of buy stops right there. And don't forget, guys, don't forget that we just tested daily support. We tested a higher time frame daily level of support right here, and it's been selling off for a good minute. Look at this. Look how long it's been selling off day after day after day, right down into a very nice level of support. So I always tell my mentees this, put yourself inside the mind frame for a moment of a short seller who's in this play right now. Where are they going to keep their stops? They're going to keep their stops above resistance, which is right here. But because we're knowledgeable, we're knowledgeable of the higher time frame chart. We're knowledgeable that we have a higher time frame point of interest. We understand. That price is going to likely want to retrace higher now because it's slamming into support. It's going to want to retrace higher to seek liquidity. Where's the next major liquidity pool? It's right here. That's that next major liquidity pool. Now, here's where we get a little bit deeper into the market maker model and how it connects. I want to go down to a one hour chart now. So after we identify the higher time frame point of interest, because we need to actually, there needs to be a reason to, as to why this wants to move higher because smart money wants to buy off these levels. Next, you look to your left and you need to identify the consolidation. That exact area, guys, that I was just telling you on the four hour chart, if you go to the lower time frame, it cleans it up a lot more. The four hour, it can be kind of a little bit harder to see, but you can see right here on this one hour chart, look what you got there. What is that right there, guys? That's consolidation. This entire area, look at this back and forth price action in here. Look how it's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That is, that is a, that's what we call that consolidation. And it's also right here is the high of that it's it's the high of that four hour of that resistance that I was just telling you about where we can anticipate shorts are going to be keeping their stop because this thing has been trending lower for a while now. But we're knowledgeable what's occurring on the higher time frame chart. We're knowledgeable that we're testing daily support right here. And we understand that that daily support it's gonna want to seek opposing. It's going to want to it's going to want to influence this thing to move higher to seek opposing buy side liquidity and where's the next key liquidity pool it's up here that's where it's at so we've identified first we identified our higher time frame point of interest which was our daily support that's where we want to look for our smart money reversal okay that's next so we identify the higher time frame point of interest okay we have our consolidation to the left all right we have the consolidation and then price does what it engineers liquidity and moves lower down into our higher time frame point of interest. During this time, it's bearish and it's selling off. Look, it's just getting completely killed, getting completely killed. Bears are all over it. This thing's moving lower. They want to see lower prices. It's breaking out. It's making new lows. That's the intention. Right down into our higher time frame point of interest. That's the bait. That's the bait. It's bearish down into our level of support, our daily support. Where next, what do we look for? What do we look for next? We look for big money sponsorship. We look for smart money to tip its hand to us. ICT likes to use the analogy of an elephant jumping in a small kiddie pool. If you've 
if you're privy with its content, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And this is the perfect example of that. What happens when a elephant jumps in a small kiddie pool? What happens? Water goes everywhere. It splashes everywhere. Like it's just a complete mess. Well, this is this is just a perfect representation of that. This is that elephant. This candle right here. Look, because it was very bearish. It was very bearish. And then out of nowhere, boom. Good night. Ramp up. And it creates what? Fair value gap confirmation. That's what you want to see as well. You want your fair value gap in there as well. Because in simplest terms, guys, it means that there is a lot of a lot of sponsorship behind sending this thing higher. It tells us that there was a lot of buying at this particular area, aka smart money stepping in. Because retail traders, we're not causing this to do this. We can't do that. We don't have enough buying power. Even myself, I have a very large account. But in comparison to big money, I'm not even a tadpole. I ain't, I ain't doing that. So there's someone else that's you know doing that. That's big money. And that's them showing their hand. They're that elephant jumping in that small kiddie pool. They're ramping it up. That's what we call a smart money reversal. That is a smart money reversal right here. And that smart money reversal, you want to see that off of a higher time frame point of interest, like your daily level, your four hour level. In this case, we had the daily support. Okay. We've already identified our buy stops up above that consolidation right here. There's going to be buy stops above that consolidation. And then it was very bearish. And because the smart money reversal, it does what? It creates a change in trend, a shift in market structure. That's what it means. Shift in market structure is just a change in the trend. It was bearish. It was offering sell side. All right. It was, you know, the sell, it was the sell side of the curve right here, right? It was in bearish market structure. It was in a downtrend. And then it tests the higher time frame point of interest. It has big money steps in and say, okay, we're ready to send this higher now. We got our higher time frame level, send it higher. Boom. Elephant, small kitty pull, ramps up. It leaves the displacement. It has the huge explosive move. That's smart money and they can't hide. That's why I say listen to price. Listen to what it's telling you. Smart money cannot hide. They're going to tell you what they want to do. This is them telling you exactly what they want to do. And because you, it's not just some random push. When you just go off like random push or you just try to trade any old fair value gap that you see, well, you get caught in a lot of fake outs. You need the higher time frame storyline. That's the key thing here. And a lot of traders miss that. You know, a lot of ICT traders are solely focused on, you know, trying to trade every little one minute retracement and they get chopped up to bits because they don't have that higher time frame outlet. When you just add a higher time frame level, Trust me on this, guys. At a higher time frame level, wait. If you can get yourself to wait on higher time frame levels, I mean, your win rate going through the roof, profitability going through the roof. Okay. If you can execute on it, of course, because knowing it and executing it are two different things. But that's what you need. That's what you want to see. Smart money. That's your smart money reversal. Now, what's next? What's the next? Well, we want to see a pullback into a discount. Okay. And this is also um, the same like ICT 2022 mentorship entry pattern. You get your liquidity run, you get your fair value gap. I'm sure you can notice that. It's the same exact, like that's where you got this playing out today. But now we want to pull back into a discount. Why do we want to pull back into a discount? Because we don't want to be buying something when it's, when it's expensive in a premium marketplace. We want it when it's cheap. When is a discount marketplace going to be? A discount is below 50% equilibrium, which is right here. That's a discount. Okay. Now, where's your profit target going to be? Well, this is really up to you. Now, you can shoot for the high of the consolidation. That's what a lot of people do that trade the market maker, you know, market maker model. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. That is completely a valid PT as I posted in Discord this morning. As I said, I would, I think it's probably going to tag these four hour buy stops up above because we know there's a bunch of buys of liquidity right there. So you could target that and get really good risk reward. But the, the, just because you see everybody else doing that, don't think that you got to trade exactly like that, guys. Like you could just scalp it up into that level if you want. Like you could just grab as it comes down to a discount right here and then you could take profits into high day, boom, be done with it. And then maybe enter later on, like because we did have news today, like enter after news and then just get back on board for the ride after that and just scalp it again, scalp it again, scalp it again and take it all the way up into this level right here. Like there's no, there's not just one correct way of trading. If you just want to hold it the entire way, cool. But I'm not trying to put you in a box and say, you got to do it like this. Nope, there's different ways to go about doing it. But what you need to understand is this is our draw on liquidity. 
That's what you need to understand. The high of that consolidation is your draw on liquidity. And you could have that as your PT. If you want better, if you want good risk reward, then that's what you shoot for. So we get the smart money reversal. We get our shift in market structure because you can see how it came up and it cracked this short term high right here. Look at my cursor. High is high in the middle, lower high on the right, lower high on the left. So you have your swing high right here. And it came up and it cracked that swing high after this is the key thing here pay very close attention after you tested the higher time free point of interest that's the key thing here that gives this shift such validity okay and we can understand smart money is stepping in now it gives the fair value gap it gives a strong close above the level that is a a plus shift in market structure that's taking place here okay it's an extremely high probability market structure shift so now it's confirmed we've identified we got our higher time free point of interest We've identified the consolidation. We've, we've identified that it's having a change in trim. Now we need a discount, which is what ICT would call a low risk buy. There's your low risk buy. It comes down into a discount marketplace. And you can see it ramps up, gives you a really nice push. So the 15 minutes, so you can see a little bit better here. Again, there's your low risk buy. It comes down into a discount. It ramps up. It ramps up and it takes out the highs. Now, here's the, here's the deal. We still haven't taken out the high of this consolidation right here. We still have this consolidation over here. We understand there's a big bucket of buy of liquidity right there that it hasn't taken out. That's our draw on liquidity. Now, we come back down to this range. What do you think is going to happen here? We have our low risk buy right here. It ramps up, takes the highs. Now it's coming down and it's giving you another opportunity in New York session. It's coming down and it's testing this bullish order block right here on the 15 minute chart. And what happens next? What happens next, guys? Smart money accumulates more orders. Reaccumulation takes the highs. Classic market maker buy model as simplest as you can get it and it repeats like this isn't just like some you know once in a blue moon thing guys like this stuff does repeat now let me say you're not if you're utilizing like a one hour chart for like your interest and stuff like this you're not going to get something this clean every day i'm not selling you on that i'm not telling you that that's going to happen because then i would be selling um a false dream basically but here's the deal and here's what a lot of you really need to understand and i want you to pay very close attention you don't need it every single fucking day and that's what a lot of you need to understand because you're like, I want something every single day. I got to be taking 100 million five trades a day. And if I'm not, I'll go crazy, right? Guys, you can build a career on just a one or two a week, a few, a few trades a month, guys. You can build a fucking career. You can make a living. You don't need it every single day. And just think about this. I mean, look, think about if you got into this because we already established that a discount is going to be where you get in. Again, think ICT 2022 entry pattern. If you haven't watched that, watch ICT 2022 mentorship. You'll see what I'm talking about. But you enter in a discount marketplace after it has the liquidity run it, and then um, it has the shift. You enter in a discount. And think, if you do want the risk, like the risk reward is there. If you got in a discount marketplace right there, where would your stop be? Your stop would be underneath the low. And you targeted the high of that consolidation, guys. Well, guess what? Guess what you got? Look at that risk reward. Phenomenal. Over two to one risk reward. You know what that means, guys? You know what that means? You can literally be right half the time and slamming out the park. That's a coin flip. That's a freaking coin flip, guys. I want you to really think about that because I don't think you're really thinking about it when I tell you that. You And think about this. You have a higher time frame point of interest. You have a high probability shift. You're utilizing key times, kill zones, all this stuff. ICT 2022 entry pattern the fair value gaps, the consolidation, you identified it, and you only got to be right, actually less than half the time, but even half the time, guys, you think you could be right half the time doing that? Absolutely. absolutely. freaking lutely It just comes down to be being patient now and being disciplined, which is an entirely different story, as I'm sure a lot of you understand, because you can see it right there. It's there, but then executing it consistently on a consistent basis that's a different story and that's you know comes down to psychology which is an entirely different lesson but i'm showing you the potential and if you could be patient well it's available to you you know that one entry pattern right here that i'm showing you that one setup right there can make you rich can make you filthy fucking rich can make you a living from the marketplace and it just comes down to patience and discipline could you execute it could you be patient for it and that's again that's another question most people can't now you'll get lower time frame setups like this thing. It just it's not. I'm not saying that the market maker model just repeats once or it, it repeats every single day, guys. But again, it's I'm talking about really clean setups, utilizing like a one hour you know entry or 15 minute entry. You can go down to like a five minute, one minute chart, and you'll get a lot more. But again, it's it's a little bit the higher time frame charts are cleaner. 
okay? They're higher time frame charts are cleaner. And, you know, that's just how it is. That's just the truth. So one last time before we end the video here, we identify our higher time frame point of interest, which was the daily chart. This is where you want to see your smart money reversal. We identified our higher time frame point of interest right there. Look to your left. You can see we have our consolidation up here, which is also these four-hour buy stops. So again, put yourself inside the mind frame of a short who's in this, where they're going to keep their stops. They're going to keep their stops above resistance. But we're knowledgeable. We're knowledgeable traders, and we understand that it's testing daily support right now. So it's in a prime area to have that stop and to have that reversal. And where's the liquidity? It's right here, which is that consolidation, which you can see a little bit better on the one-hour chart. So then you, after you do that, you identify your consolidation. We understand there's a big bucket of buy stops right here. Here's your draw on liquidity. Right there is your draw on liquidity. You already identified that. You identified the higher time frame point of interest. You identified your consolidation, aka your draw on liquidity. This is the sell side of the curve. This is bearish market structure. This is a bearish downtrend. It comes down to your higher time frame point of interest. Smart money reversal. Big money steps in. Remember elephant in the little kitty pool. It splashes everywhere and boom, you have your fair value gap confirmation. You have your change in trend. It cracks a short term high, shift in market structure. Okay. What do, you, what do you look for next? Well, next you look for a discount marketplace. Think ICT 2022 entry pattern. Boom, discount. Full shorter block. Comes down, rebounces his price action completely. In a discount marketplace, ramps up. Boom, takes the highs. Comes down, accumulation, reaccumulation later. Boom, comes up, takes the consolidation, cleans it out, you bank. It's that simple. It's just like, it's the same exact pattern, guys. Every time. Same exact pattern. Is it going to look exactly like this? No, not exactly like this, but it's the same signatures. And then for bearish scenarios, you just flip it around. It's just, it's just flipped upside down. It's the same exact thing, guys. Literally, it's that simple. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you later.